Good evening, everyone. Okay, so today also we are going to see some uh, extra methods and some tricks in NumPy and Pandas. Okay, so tomorrow onwards we will start a data analysis. Okay, so NumPy, Pandas also data analysis uh, libraries, and we have a separate chapter for data analysis. Okay, so today, sorry, tomorrow onwards we will go with that, and today. Uh, we have, we will see some NumPy and Pandas uh, methods. Okay, so I'll directly switch to Jupyter. Okay, so in NumPy we can create a array. Okay, so we can create a array by using three steps. Okay, three, using three types. Not step. Is a type okay? So array with array and array with scalar values and universal array functions. Okay, so today we are going to see these three types on new number. Okay, and after that, we'll uh, see some extra methods in panels also. Okay, first, first we need to import numpy, right. NumPy as MP, then so I'm gonna create a array. Okay, so arr equal to MP dot a range. Okay, this little we have our C in still right, and MP dot a range zero to eleven. 0, 11. Okay, so it returns the value from 0 to 10. Right? Okay. Now I want to add some array to this. Okay, so I, I, I want to add two arrays. Okay, just give ARR plus I'm going to go same error. Okay, so I'm going to add both okay so i just run the so you can see so arr has 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay it simply adds both value 0 and 0 0 1 and 1 2 and 2 2 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 and 10 plus 10 20 okay so you can also do subtraction okay so i'm gonna run this sorry i'm gonna run this you can see it returns zero because ARR we are subtracting same value, right? Zero minus zero zero, one minus one zero, and ten minus ten zero. Okay, and you can also multiply the arrays. Okay, right? You can see here. So one into one one, two into two four, three into three nine, and ten into ten hundred. Okay, so. These are the extra method we have in NumPy. And if you want to add 100 for each element, okay, so normally if you are go, going to add 100 in uh, each element in list, we are going to do some iteration like if you are. Uh, we are doing some for loops and after that uh, here, uh, we're gonna add i plus 100 or something like okay and here you just give plus plus 100 that's all okay ARR plus 100 and this line is enough to add the 100 for each element okay you can see 0 plus C 100 is 100 and 101 and 110, right? Because uh, still ARR has same value because we are not saving the multiplication in ARR, right? So ARR is 0 to 10 and I'm going to add 100 into here and it, this is the scalar operations, okay? And it returns by adding of 100, okay? And if you want to minus 100, you just give subtract 
and it, it returns the subtracted values. Okay. Okay, then, then I will go with subtraction. Okay, so anything by zero is infinitive, right? If, if I give one divided by zero, it returns error, zero division error, right? So in numpy, okay, it just give warning for that, okay, then it executes the remaining values okay it won't get an error in number okay so normally you are doing one divided by zero is a zero division error okay so here i'm gonna divide ar divided by ar because anything by zero Okay, so anything by zero is zero, right? Then zero divided by zero is, sorry, anything by zero is infinite. Zero by zero is infinite, right? We are subtracting AR divided by AR. I'm going to run this. You can see the warning, okay? And it takes the value as none. Then after the remaining values are sub divided and it returns the value, okay? It just gives the warning okay then so i'm gonna give one divided by r okay so one divided by r and it also gives the warning okay so because anything by zero is infinitive right it returns infinitive here then for, then other values are subtracted one then it returns the answer okay so you can also do exponential value in here okay so if you want to get square root for the each value you just give ARR ARR and sorry ARR star star 2 that's enough it returns the square 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 root question of your normal level. okay then we have some methods to do these tasks okay so we have a sqrt method and we have a exp method we have max method you can also convert that value into sine cosine tan and a logarithmic value also okay so if i want to cut get square you just use sqrt here and then pass your array you get the square root value of your array here is my array right so it returns square root value of ar then if you want the exponential value just give np dot exp then 
pass your array here arr it returns the exponential value of your each array element. okay then if you want to convert your value into sine form or cos form or cosine whatever you want okay here i'm gonna convert my array into sine form okay just give np dot sign then pass your array here it, it returns the sign sign of your values okay if you want to get a logarithmic values okay so log of zero is infinity right and it returns with warning okay, if i uh, giving np dot log of ARR okay so ARR has 0 to 10 values okay then the first value is 0 if you are giving np dot log the log of 0 is infinity it, okay that's a negative infinity okay it returns the warning and then it prints your result okay so if the python returns warning it won't bother your result it returns your result okay if the error is in your code, it won't uh, return your uh, output. Okay, and if there is any warning, it returns your output. Okay, so if you are doing np dot log arr, okay, it returns negative infinity. You can see here negative inf. That is negative infinity. Then after that, after the values are converted into logarithmically then it returns the value okay is it clear So I'll give some uh, uh, tips on pandas also. Okay, so let's move on to pandas. And here, first I'll show the series data. Okay, so series data type in pandas. Okay, we have uh, two types. One is data frame, and, uh, and is another one is series, right? So series returns single column values. And data frames, it's like your Excel or it's like your table. Okay, it contains two or more columns and two or more rows. Okay, so first I will show the series. Okay, so you need to import pandas. So we have already discussed what is series and what is data frame. Here I'll show some tricks. Okay, Just some extra methods. Okay, so import a import pandas as pd then i'm going to create four different types of data okay so first i'm going to give label equal to a comma b comma c okay then i'm going to give my data okay here i'm going to give integer values 10 20 30 then i want to create this or i want to convert that value into my array my numpy array okay so here arr equal to in <coughs> dot array of my underscore data then then finally i'm going to create a dictionary so we have already discussed it what is a dictionary and this dictionary behavior on data frames okay so if you are giving dictionary in data frame it takes your key as a column value and uh, your list like your value as a row, your table value that's all, right and in series data structure okay uh, it takes your key as a indexes and 
your value as a value that's it okay that's the difference between your series and data frames if you are using dictionaries okay so i'm going to give the curly braces and here a come colon i'm going to give for comma then b colon then i'm going to pass 24 here and then i'm going to see and here i'm going to pass 45 okay so here we have four type of data right so one data contains uh, strings and another contains integers and then another one has array values then another one is dictionary okay here i'm going to create pd dot series then here you just pass your data and the indexes okay so first time i'm going to give label as my data and i'm going to pass my data underscore data as my index okay it takes label as a values label contains a b c right so first in one is your data and then another one is your index okay so my data contains 10 20 30 okay so my data takes as a index value and it returns 10 20 30 okay so i'm going to remove this i'm going to remove both okay then here i'm going to give d you can see here okay so d the key values are in the index position and the values are in value position okay so in dix if you are using dictionary data type in your series okay it takes the key values or in the index position and the values or in the value position that's all okay this is your series data structure right in ants then after i'm going to create ser1 equal to pd dot series okay then here i'm going to pass uh one comma two comma three comma four okay uh, that's my value then after that i'm going to pass indexes okay here i'm going to give a then comma b then comma c Here we have four values, and you need to give four indexes. That is my SCR one. I'm gonna create SCR two. Then PD dot series, and here I'm gonna give different value like twenty two comma thirty four comma forty six comma seventy eight. Then after that, I'm gonna give like A. Same index value. I'm gonna give B, then I'm gonna give C, then I'm gonna give E. Okay, here I have changed only one value. Instead of B, I have given E. Okay, I'm gonna run this. Now I want to add both values. Okay, you can add by using simple plus so. Okay. And S E R two. Okay, and here, so it takes all all of your index questions. Okay, and it compares to your or it 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 takes index as a common value. Okay, it it's like your S Q. Okay, and first it checks A and A. And it returns twenty two plus one, and it returns twenty three. And B and B thirty four plus two thirty six, and C and C fifty nine. We get fifty six plus three fifty nine. And here we don't have any value for uh, for D in S E R two, and also we don't have any value for E in S E R one. That's why. That D and E are returned as a none value. Okay, so none is a empty value. That's all. And then uh, I'm going to 
create a data frame. Okay, so here I'm gonna equal numpy dot random. Okay, you see here I'm gonna import random. Okay, then so then. df equal to td dot data frame okay so in jupyter if you are uh, i have just typed data okay in full form is data frame if you are giving tab it fills your remaining okay remaining method name and in data frame uh, i'm going to give brand yen okay then here i'm gonna pass my matrix okay i need five like five comma four what do we want and five comma four then here i'm gonna pass my indexes okay so here i'm gonna give a comma b comma c comma d because we have five rows and four columns, right? So here the index is belongs to your rows and comma. And you need to specify columns here. Here I'm gonna give x comma y comma z comma w okay we have four columns and five rows i'm going to check my df sorry it is in capital form okay so now it returns the value okay so a b c d are indexes and x y z w for column value okay so if you want to get a particular column okay just you need to pass df and here if, you, if i want to uh, print y i just pass y here and it prints the value okay and see here it look like your series right so the data frame is a collection of your series either it may be in a horizontal way or series way okay and it is contains your series okay the data frame is a collection of series then if you want to return two or more columns okay you have to pass as a tuple or nested list here okay if i want to get uh, y comma z okay you need to pass like this it returns two column okay now you can get a single column or if you want to return two or more columns you can give like this okay then so i want to draw any one column from this data, uh, data frame so i want to drop w Okay, so I need to give bf dot draw, and here we need to pass the column name w. Okay, I'm gonna run this. It returns error, not found in axis. You need to give axis here. Okay, so axis means so I'll tell you later and here uh, if you want to drop a column you need to give one if you want to drop a row you need to give zero here i'm gonna drop w you can see so here we have w and it returns with the w column okay so it won't affect your original data frame if you are running df it returns the same column okay with w if 
we want to affect that value into your original df we have two options you can save this value like df equal to df dot drop otherwise and here in comma then if in place equal to true if you are running this okay now check df and df returns only three call okay so if you are giving in place equal to true okay it removes permanently from your data frame okay so the access for selecting rows or column okay so if you want to remove the column sorry row because we have already removed the column right and here which row you want to remove you can give or you can pass the index and then you need to change axis equal to zero okay then again you want to run this now check the a arrow has been removed okay so why they are indicating zero as a row and one as a column the reason is so yesterday we have seen a uh, shape method right okay shape returns the matrix of the current uh, array or uh, current data frame okay the shape will works on here also in pandas also and here it returns 4 comma 3 we have four rows and three columns okay so check these index positions first is your rows correct so your the second one is your column okay. then your index position is 0 and here is 1 okay so row has zero index position and column has one index position that's why we are giving row axis is equal to 0 and the column axis equal to 1 okay so then if you want to get a particular row if you want to get if you want to return a particular row okay so you need to give df dot i sorry l o c okay so l o c then here just pass the index value okay index value of that row okay so in column you just give df square inside the square bracket you just pass your column name that's a no if you want to return two or more columns you like uh, you have to give like this okay then if you come with row you need to call loc method then here you need to pass the row index a So we don't have yet because we have a problem with that. Okay, then we are going to give e. Okay, so it returns e row as a series. Okay, you can see here x y z. Now the x y z are in indexes and the value those are in series form because the this is series, right? This is series and this is also series. And it, this is horizontally uh, series, and this one is vertically series, right? If you go with uh, rows, and it returns like this. Okay, if you want to get two or more row, or uh, if you want to print a particular value from your data frame, I want to get that zero point zero double seven value. Okay. so here first you need to pass the row index position that, that is c 
I'm gonna pass C here. Then give comma, and after that you need to pass the column value. Now you get, now you point out that particular value, right? Here Y and here is C, and here I'm gonna give Y. Now it returns your that particular value zero point zero double seven one three zero. It returns that value, right? Okay, so it can do like this to get or access that particular cell in your data frame. Okay, is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so thank you all and uh, tomorrow we'll start a new topic. Okay, so the, uh, the topic will uh, related, the topic was related to your uh, pandas and numpy, same data analysis. Okay, tomorrow onwards we'll start the topic. Okay, so do lot of practices in this because data analysis has a huge opportunities in current situation. Okay, so Thank you. If you have any doubts, please text me or ask me. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Sir, yeah. yesterday's video please upload sir in YouTube. Yesterday's class. Okay. Uh, it it is uploading. I will share the video. Okay. It is in processing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.